Tracking a deadly strain of E. coli. Reinhard Kahle from the University of Hohenheim studies how dangerous bacteria make it into the food chain. There are different pathways they can take. But this illustrates the problem with field crop vegetables like lettuce. When they're watered or when it rains, drops strike the ground and spray over the plants, transferring both dirt and microorganisms onto the plant. That's the origin of the problem. Pathogenic germs are also carried along. To find out where the dangerous microorganisms hide during processing, the nutritional scientists take a sample of the lettuce into the lab. The researchers are especially interested in improving safety standards for pre-packaged vegetables like lettuce because they're widely used in cafeterias and fast food restaurants. The processing is performed with machines like this. You can see that the blades chop through the entire head of lettuce, which means that contamination from the outer layers is carried into its inner layers. That causes cross-contamination. This could be avoided through the use of cutting implements that don't employ blades, with high-pressure water jets, for example. Kala also recommends that food companies wash salad in water that's 50 degrees Celsius for at least 30 seconds, both before and after cutting. That kills 99% of the microorganisms. Everything comes together in the microbiology lab. For many years, the researchers here have been studying different bacteria that make us ill. The microscopic world of germs is one of struggle and constant adjustment to new conditions. That's why they're able to change their own genetic makeup very quickly. We assume that's the case with this most recent dangerous pathogen. It's apparently a hybrid of two different pathogenic groups of E. coli. It's a bacteria that has developed that is clearly very aggressive and clearly very good at flourishing in the environment. But how fresh is the lettuce after you've washed it in water that's hot enough to kill bacteria? The scientists also have to test that before they make recommendations to food producers. We provide a kind of impulse for innovation that is then taken up by the industry. We provide them with the know-how. From the field to the plate, Reinhold Kala hopes that through his efforts, consumers in Germany will soon be able to eat salad again without fear of contracting a potentially deadly infection.